Hey guys, thanks for coming by. Um, this is Judy from the Dark Dial Studio. I just want to show you a couple of things that I've done um, in the last couple months. And I know that I haven't been posting anything recently, but um, please forgive me. I I have been doing a lot of other work. Um, I'm getting married in a few months, and um, we have been busy crafting. Um, the decorations for our own wedding. So my mind has been somewhere else. Um, I have done a couple things here and there just to kind of get out of the monotony of things. But honestly, it's been really hard when you come home and you just want to sit down and watch TV all night long. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've done and uh, some upcoming ideas. And I also want to give a couple shout outs, okay? So, number one, all right? Here we go. Let me move this puppy out. There. This is the Titanic, and this I did for my mom. As you can see, there's the ship going down to the depths of the ocean. Alright, right there. Now I didn't put too much emphasis on the model itself. Yes, I did color it myself. Um, but I just wanted to showcase the actual dial. That's the focal point basically. So I did crack it in half with a Dremel. I, uh, I have a standing I have a standing up here on an acrylic sheet. This is a, a clear coke. Painted it with a few coats of uh, blue. And uh, the sheets of acrylic which is like a quarter inch sheet. Uh, I painted this a translucent blue and pink and made a little bit of a purple down here. I will be giving this uh, some LEDs in the bottom, just to give it a nice little glow, as you can see. I, I'm sure you've seen uh, pictures out there for the Titanic like this. You know, it's the most popular scene, basically, so people who are hardcore diorama enthusiasts will do something like that. Uh, the next one that I've done still in the process of doing it. If you guys know me very well, you know that I like to do replicas of movies. So, can you guess what this is? Yeah, you got it. The Birds, 1963 film by Alfred Hitchcock. Um, the phone booth itself is basically cardboard, acrylic, cardboard and foam on top here foam on the bottom. So all I'm going to do is uh, give it a base where the phone booth sits and then the background is going to be that part of the film where the firefighters are fighting the fire and the water and the birds are flying all over the place. Um, I do have a couple birds that I sculpted. They're not the best thing in the world but um, I will reshape it and refine it and then paint it and put it on wires probably going to be putting one here with a glass cracked. Yeah, so I want to set it up real nice. Right, I only have a few of them. I'm not going to do too much because I don't like to sculpt too much. I'm not really good at it for whatever reason. But yep, there it is. And Miss Tippy Hedren is basically a cutout. I printed her out. Um, I had a friend of mine impose her head on uh, a lady who's using uh, the costume basically with the birds and superimposed that, printed it out, cut it out, glued it on foam, and cut it out with a foam cutter. So she's kind of like a 3D, see, right there. 3D cutout right there. Okay. Did that. This one here will be, I don't know, I'm just gonna do like an abandoned weathered horse trailer and. Yeah, I already know the colors I'm going to give it. It's uh, just a matter of time before I start doing this one. And I got some, a uh, couple pieces of fence here that I'm going to weather as well. Got some, a few horses in there. So I'm going to do a little western scene. An old abandoned western scene, I guess. Um, what else do I have in the works? Well, what I do have in the works is hopefully a Hellraiser diorama that I have been commissioned to do. Hopefully that will go through and then if that's the case then I will be um, 
doing videos on that one as well. This scene right here, let's see if I can... Yeah. Where are you? Hold on, I gotta move this. Uh, okay, so this is a scene in The Walking Dead, Terminus. The scene where basically the four main characters and four other characters are getting hit on the head and then sliced on the neck. And my friend who I work with uh, is a big, big fan of The Walking Dead and is a huge fan of this scene in particular because he's just a morbid ass. That's what he is. Love him to death, but he's a morbid ass. So he wants me to do this scene, and I agreed I'll do it. And uh, what I'm waiting on, um, I ordered uh, 100 pieces of O scale figures, uh, waiting for those to come in. And um, I'll definitely be doing a little bit of cutting and repositioning of the figures to make it look like this. Uh, see if I can. There we are. So definitely going to reposition them, and they do come in one solid color, and I'm going to have to paint them, which is cool. So I already have some ideas as what I'm going to do here, um, this whole area right there. I think that's going to be uh, pr pretty, pretty badass, I think. So I will be filming that as well, probably in the next couple days. Um, I'll get started on this. And um, I think that's it. So I just wanted to give you guys uh, a little uh, shout out. Basically, um, two guys that are, uh, they've become really good friends to me. And uh, they're just all around great guys. Uh, first shout out would be Dustin, Hinterland Customs. This guy is a really nice guy, does really good work with model cars. And he also does dioramas. Um, also, Scott, Scotty from Saltwater Scale Customs, very nice gentleman, sweetheart to the core, also does model cars, um, and has been doing some dioramas as well. Uh, the reason why I give, I'm giving shout outs is because we all need to help each other out. We all learn from each other, and we love to give advice, we love to receive advice. And that's how it should be. It's it's all about the love for it. And, uh, you know, we're not here to compete with each other. We're not here to be negative with each other. We're here to support one another and give love and support and help each other out. That's why I give shout-outs. And I'm starting to give shout-outs because I learned from Dustin. He's a, a, he's a good man, you know. Um, he's right. You know, you, you have to let people know that there are people out there who do this kind of thing, who are learning, who are teaching others, who are giving tutorials, who are aspiring to be, you know, fantastic artists. We're, it's, we're on all sides of the spectrum. And the important thing is that we're here to give our support. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you very much to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You guys rock and I love all of you. You guys make me want to do this all the time, and well, okay, I know I haven't been doing it all the time because I, you know, I've already told you my reasonings, but I think about it every day. I think about wanting to make a video every day, even though I don't put it out, but I think about it because I feel like I need to give you guys something to watch. Because I do the same thing. I go to YouTube and I'm like, oh, where is this guy? I want to see this video. And he hasn't put out a video in like a month. So I know how that feels. Anyhow, um, I'm, I rambled on long enough. I just wanted to tell you guys thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And if you guys watch the, these videos, I have tons of other videos. Um, if you like what you see, press the like button, subscribe, share my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'm on Facebook and Dark Dial Studios. I also have a shop on Etsy. Um, I have Flickr. I have DeviantArt. You know, I, I'm all over the place. Kind of, sort of. Uh, except for Twitter. I can't stand Twitter. But you guys rock. Thank you for hearing me out, rambling on, and I'll catch you in a few days, hopefully the start of Terminus. Bye guys.